So how do they truly feel about you right now? They're missing you so much, okay? They're feeling bored, restless, um, longing for you. Sadness with all of this rain here. They just want to be with you. They want to feel very close to you. They want to feel the excitement of so much intimacy, okay? They want to hold you. They want to make love to you. This is them fantasizing, daydreaming, longing for you so deeply. There's a feeling of melancholy here, like a sadness if there's some form of separation going on. They don't want this separation. They want to get closer to you. Yeah, look, sadness. This could be both of you. Missing each other so much, like you want so much more. This is them feeling left out in the cold. I'm telling you, this is your hearts, your souls, really desiring each other, really, really longing for each other. They want a, a reconciliation. Um, this is a deeply spiritual connection, the judgment card. This is rising up. Like you are the light in their life. They, they want your light, your presence. They may want your communication because you are the light in their life. And this is them feeling left out in the cold with all this snow. But where the light is shining, your light is shining. These flowers are growing. They're breaking through the snow, blossoming. This deep longing that you have for each other is making, it's like forcing you both to connect in the, the way that you can connect, which is in your hearts, your souls, your energies, the telepathic bond. So this is a fifth dimensional and beyond connection where you really are at one, but there is this sense of you really missing each other at the same time right now. You're both longing for home, like you know each other from the higher dimensions. You want to race in and embrace each other. This is a powerful, like, twin flame connection. <clears throat> How are they feeling right now? I'm telling you, you ha it's like you both have to move beyond the veil to really connect. The two owls, your two old souls, this is seeing and moving beyond the veil of this false matrix. Queen of Swords. Yeah, there's a sense of feeling in the cold. Look at all of this snow here. And traditionally, Five of Pentacles has been left out in the cold. There could be some negative thoughts going on with this Queen of Swords. Or feeling your absence. You're not absent, though. Um, it's like you're both in your minds a lot. You and your person, you really connect so powerfully when you sink back into the heart space. But there's some sort of clarity coming in here as well, or very soon. How else are they truly feeling about you right now? Yeah, look, seeking reassurance. I'm telling you this person's missing you. They may be seeking... Um, communication from you or to feel closer to you i feel like they're worrying they're worrying right now feeling your absence um energetically even though i feel this is certainly isn't your intention there could be some shadows coming up or um you're both very busy or something like that but they're wanting to know the future they're wanting to know how you feel about them they're scared of losing you they want to feel secure in your connection. They're missing you like crazy. They want to be close. How are they truly feeling right now? They want to feel this happiness. Again, you are the light in their life. They want to return to this joy, peace, feeling uplifted, a happy 
relationship with you, enjoying each other, emotional fulfillment. They want to get back on track with you. They, they want to feel this joy. They're missing this. They're longing for you. They're longing to feel secure. There's some sort of insecurities or thinking worst case scenario because of feeling an energetic absence as well as like any as well as a physical absence. But I feel like with all the swords, you are on each other's mind. Like you're constantly thinking about each other. But again, it's it's maybe more in the mind and um I feel it's like busyness, like you could be really busy, but you're always constantly thinking about this person as well, like nothing's changed here, it's like they're worrying that you're moving on from them or something, but nothing has changed, like you're completely in love with this person, you are continuing to work on this partnership alongside them, so... Lock and key, they see you as the perfect fit for opening each other's hearts like never before. They know that this is a divine union, that your twin flames, um, a deeply loving bond, a destined relationship. There is some sort of breakthrough here that will occur. You will be coming back to closeness and reconciliation, but I feel like, again, there's just some sort of busyness going on or something that you're working through, but this is the veil opening and opening, the lock opening. They want some sort of communication from you, I'm feeling, with these swords as well. Because this veil is a around them sometimes, so they can't see clearly. Yeah, they're thinking worst case scenario, shatter is like the tower card. They're, they're fearful. This person, they could feel insecure in general. Like They're fearful of the rug being pulled from beneath them with the words here, sudden change, shocking transformation, endings. Um, but this wake-up call, is this, this reassurance coming in, epiphanies coming in, there is some sort of end of an era here between you both. But it isn't the end of your connection. It's just another avenue through which a new beginning, a deeper new beginning is going to happen. Blessing in disguise. <clears throat> so tortoise, this is like a slowly but surely movement and progress within your connection. This is about this person and perhaps yourself as well coming out of your shells. It says in their shell, slow moving, clammed up, silent, slow and steady, withdrawn, introverted, shy, insecure and wise. I feel like this person, um, they could feel insecure around you. Maybe they see you as seeing very deeply into them, which they also love as well because it makes them feel truly seen and it, it creates that very powerful intimacy. But I feel like this person, sometimes they retreat into their shell when they're fearful of rejection or fearful of abandonment. They go into this protective state, but this is them coming out of their shell slowly but surely as well like walls around them with a tower card shattering crumbling blocks some sort of block crumbling here so let's look at some messages cards how are they truly feeling about you right now i'm always talking about you to my friends in positive ways, I'm feeling. I feel like this person, they seek advice or they just talk about your connection to see what the other person has to say because they are seeking that reassurance. <clears throat> they're talking enthusiastically about you as well, like they're overflowing, that they can't hold back from speaking to you. It's like this desire to speak to you, but if they can't speak to you, they're speaking to a friend that they trust about you. I miss what we had in the past. I often reminisce about those times. So that, yeah, there could be some sort of end of an era when it comes to past situation, how it was in the past. But like I said, it's this end of an era is just an avenue through which a new beginning, a more deeper new beginning is going to occur. 
But the, yeah, they're missing you so much, reminiscing, feeling a lot of sadness. Both of you could be with it showing a divine masculine and feminine, both with the rain in those cards. Yes, my love for you is real. Never doubt it. This is the reassurance that they are seeking. Um, this is what they're doubting. This is a message from their higher self to you as well. So I'm going to continue this reading on in an extended reading. We're going to look deeply into much more of these messages cards and other message cards from other decks to really look deeply into how does this person truly feel about you right now. We're also going to look into what is going to unfold next and lots of very detailed messages from spirit are also going to be channeled through. So the detail for the extended reading are below this video in the description box and in the pinned comment so i really hope to see you over there if this reading has resonated with you please let me know in the comments give it a thumbs up share it subscribe that all really helps me out with the algorithm thank you so much for joining me here and i hope to see you over on the extended